Well, welcome back to the Twist Knot Witch Up. Uh, we're back to where Jeff came back this afternoon and we've got the uh, uh, corbel uh, assemblies up and we got that top plate there that's going to create a ledge and you can see down here on this lower section which is slightly shorter well, it's about four foot so I'm six foot so I can walk over here and give you an idea what uh, the width of it is about 15 and three quarters and on this side over here where the the roof you know it meets the roof on that back side there it overhangs about two inches two and a half somewhere in there and I've got using SketchUp I uh, I knew I wanted the brackets to be spaced uh, exactly the same across and so using SketchUp I was able to uh, determined that 30 brackets was what I needed and those drops that I told you about yesterday they will it'll be another board like that brown and it'll come down and meet up with the bottom of that uh, mounting board there and then that white trim will carry on in that corner come down then carry on over there, meet up, so that, so that that all ties in together. So I got and Jeff's over here, and we're fixing to put down that. Uh, he's up there battling bees. Um, we're fixing to put down that other. Um, I guess you want to call it a a, a a cap. There you go. No, Jeff. I'll get. I'll get there. Um, and so the. And then after that one's down, then that drop go uh, going up that way, like you see there, that vertical part uh, will go in. And then we put the top uh, section of corbel, the corbel assembly up. And as soon as that's done, I figure we'll be done here in about a half hour. I'm not going to put these drops in until after the tin is here because I don't want to have to take the siding off. Uh, or have to cut it so intricately and precisely to get that drop in there. Um, so after we're done here in just a little while, I'll, I'll pick the camera back up and show you what it looks like from down below. Thanks for watching again. See you in a bit. Well, welcome back again on the same day of Friday, August 20th, and uh, Jeff and I got finished with, uh, it's 4 o'clock, we were a little bit later than I had planned. Um, we started at 1 o'clock and I told Jeff that we would be done in well before three hours but what happened was we had another client stop in with another project we've got going on inside the shop uh, distressing some doors and drawer fronts and she stopped in to take a look at them and she's uh, totally excited she thinks they're great so there it is uh, we've got the corbel sections uh, bracket assemblies there up and if you'll notice the what I was mentioning earlier about my about me my me me using SketchUp uh, to delineate the brackets. I knew how thick the brackets were, and I knew the dimension from the east side here over to the west. And I plugged in. I started out with 32 brackets, and I knew that what this dimension was east to west. And so I played with SketchUp and I plugged in 30 brackets and spaced them. It's 8 inches from in from this side and of course the same 8 inches on the west side there. And 32 didn't look good because the spacing, if you look up there where that dro first drop is, that distance from there to there and the, from this at the bottom of the drop to the next bracket is the same distance as that bracket is there to the next one. So therefore, all of the brackets are symmetrical and delineated uh, nicely across the across the width of that facade. And I'll order the trim, or excuse me, the metal uh, for the siding. And what it's going to look like is board and batten. So there'll be it's um, well, it's similar to that over there, where you see the little ribs. And of course, it won't be that color and uh, those vertical ribs there will make this look like board and batten and at that time we'll do those drops when we tear off the siding that you see there uh, that crappy shit and um, I tear that off and then we'll put the metal in 
and when we get to that stage that will be next week and that'll be part three and we'll finish out this series and I can tell you right now from what I see looking at this I wish I could get back further without getting involved in Jeff's truck here um, what I can see there maybe I can oh no here, here comes the top of this truck from what I see right there I am just totally tickled it it's exactly the look I was going for I don't see any issues up there that that stick out to me you know making it look like a a turd in a punch bowl and by the time it's all said and done with that metal it's going to be pretty darn snazzy so uh, wait for part three that'll be next week uh, I don't think the metal will get in until Thursday so that means uh, I can get Jeff to come down here and we can get started and and I'll fi hopefully finish part three by next Saturday and uh, we'll talk to you later thanks for watching